everyone, Jen Loves Wrestling here. Hope you are having a great day. Happy Wednesday, guys. Hope we're all excited for NXT tonight. Should be a good one. Uh, because the week after that, we will be starting TakeOver, kicking off WrestleMania season. And speaking of that, we are going to get to this video. Part of it is going to be a TakeOver Night 1 uh, review and analysis and ranking. The four matches that they have scheduled so far. Um, but before we get to that, I want to talk about the expansion of Jen Loves Wrestling. That's right, I am also now available on YouNow and Twitch under Jen Loves Wrestling as of last Friday. And I plan to also stream live this Friday. Uh, YouNow will be running at, I will be live streaming at about 4 p.m. Eastern Time, followed by Twitch, which will be, um, depending on how long my YouNow runs, um, Probably you can find me there around 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. This is still all relatively new for me. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Last week, my YouNow went very well. I'm very, very happy with my first live stream on YouNow. It's a lot of fun. It's a very supportive community for the most part. Uh, I end up getting a lot of people in my chat room, a lot of new fans um, very quickly, which was really awesome. And I'm really excited about how that's going. Um, Twitch, on the other hand, is not as user-friendly. I'm not going to say anything bad about it because I am still on it. Um, but it is harder to get views. It is harder to get subscribers. Um, during the whole time I was on Twitch, live streaming, I probably got less than 10 viewers the whole entire time. Uh, one of them was a creep. Um, <laughs> a pervert, to be quite frank. Um... And then I also had a guy drop in for like a second and say, hey, nice to have you here. Keep up the good work. But then other than that, it was just this weird guy who I don't even know and wants to have my children. Okay, but anyways, it was it was very, very strange. Um, yeah, it was uncomfortable. Uh, but anyways, there was like less than 10 live viewers. And then after it aired, um, I think it got up to about 40 the last time I checked, which was a few days ago. I did much, much better than that pretty much tripling that on you now uh and you now is just a much more for me personally a fun stream to use uh it's real enjoyable but what i really need is my og fan base i need my original Gen Loves wrestling youtube community that's you guys uh my fans my viewers my subscribers my friends everybody to hop on over on fridays check me out on you now check me out on Twitch, um, that first live Twitch stream was embarrassing. I gotta say, it didn't deserve 40 views. It was... I, I gotta figure it out. What I did, I just downloaded these things and jumped in feed first. I didn't even really do proper research, I guess. Um, which, in hindsight, I don't know. It's... I could use your help mostly on Twitch, I will say that. Uh, so hop on over on Fridays and check me out on two of my new homes, you now and Twitch. Uh, without further ado though, let's talk about TakeOver Night 1. Um, so I'm going to rank these from, so far we have four matches. I think we could have five by tonight. Um, I'd like to see five for Night 1 and Night 2. I think that they certainly have the talent to do that with. Um... I think especially night two, we don't have any women's matches lined up, so that would be the perfect opportunity for a women's tag match. Uh, hopefully they can confirm something with that tonight. Uh, night one, it's kind of hard to judge because you have the gauntlet match, which I'll get to, which a lot of people are in. But I think that if anything, even if they don't schedule it, uh, maybe some sort of impromptu match, depending on how the night unfolds. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to start 4-3-2-1 uh, with my ranking. And my opinions on each match. Uh, number four, uh, I'm giving to the NXT Tag Team Championship match. MSK versus GYV versus Legato. And let me tell you why first. Because there is a ton of talent in that match. And I recognize that. This one is based on logic alone. Um, this match is happening because Danny Burch is injured. So they had to give up. Oni and Danny had to give up the Tag Team Championships. Um, when... The women won the um, uh, the Dusty Cup, the women's event. Uh, they were awarded, the winners of that were awarded the women's tag team titles. So why wouldn't the same go for the men's? Um, the men's winners of the Dusty Cup Classic 
should be our current tag team champions, MSK. Just dictating it on logic alone. Um, that being said, GYV is my favorite team in this match, but in all fairness, if you did it for the women, it, logic would dictate that MSK should win this one. Uh, number three is the number one contender gauntlet match. Just because this is just so messy to me. Um, it's just a lot. It's a little much to me. Uh, so tonight on NXT, we're going to have a battle royal to determine the six superstars to compete in the number one contenders gauntlet match on night one, who will go on night two, the winner of that, to face Johnny Gargano. What? That's just, that's messy to me. That There's a lot going on. I don't know. Like, that it just seems like there's three different steps, like, to get to Johnny. It just, it seems like a little bit much. Um, so that's why I rank that at three. It's messy. I just don't understand it. Uh, two, EO versus Raquel. Uh, very close to number one, of course, but, you know, you know I had to go with number one. Uh, I am all in on Raquel Gonzalez, and I hope that this is her time. Number one, Champa versus Walter. And it is um, a little ironic that this show is, be called, is called Stand and Deliver because I don't think Champa's going to be doing much standing after this happens. Okay, so Walter's going to chop him into oblivion, but what I'm most interested in is to see um, the aftermath of all this. Where does Thatcher stand with all this? Um, hopefully he stands with Imperium at the end of the day. All right, guys, so that is our ranking, 4 3 2, one, for Night 1 TakeOver. Uh, next week, um, I'm probably going to do Night 2, so uh, make sure you tune in for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, view, share, and don't forget to tune in on Friday for my second-ever YouNow stream at around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this coming Friday, followed by Twitch, which will be, I would definitely be on there by 6.30, I'm thinking, like, I'll be on there at 6.30. I don't know if I'm going to start at 6.30 or 7 or what, but um, it's just it's all going to depend how long I stream on you now because I prefer you now as of right now. And uh, I'm probably going to do like three hours on you, know, you now and only one on Twitch. Uh, last week I did two and two, but we'll see how it goes. So I really appreciate it. If you guys come and join me on those streams, Jen Loves Wrestling, now available on you now and Twitch. And as always, on YouTube, my core fan base, I love you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. Hope you have a great night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, view, share, all that stuff. Have a good night. Enjoy NXT tonight. Bye.